All right. So we got negative 3x. What is negative 3 times 1? Negative 3. And we have an x again. Negative 3x. Negative 3 times 12. Negative 36. Negative 36. Somebody agree? Well, of course you're going to agree. It's your sister. I already did it. Okay. Hey. And then what needs to happen? Make a Yeah. Okay, and you two be quiet today. I know, but I know you guys know how to do it. Okay, negative three and a negative three is what? Negative six. Negative six, good. Minus 36 equals negative 6. Oscar, that's 1. You all right? You broken hearted today or what? No? Okay. You need a hug? Okay. Um, who needs move first? Who's the third wheel? The 36. I did not leave very much room today, did I? It's, it's Negative 6 plus 36 is what? 30. 30. <clears throat> okay, and then what needs done? Divide, good. Cross out number 3 just like this, so it gives you a little more room to write, okay? Okay. Hey, it doesn't matter. If you were already doing it, then that's what you get for working ahead. Okay, uh, so we can circle this. What are we going to do with that? We're going to plug it into where? Yeah, the one up here. Y equals X plus 12. Okay, so we can write that one down y equals x plus 12 and now who do i know likes to be called what i know the x or the y x. the x okay so where the x is at we're going to put what instead negative five. negative five okay some of you guys are getting confused on these it is super important to circle it when you're done okay that way it's just easy to find because some of you guys will look back through and you're like i don't know what the x is Okay, if you circle it, then it's easy to find or draw like a thing around it, something to, for it to stick out, okay? So where the X is at, we're going to put a negative 5. And then from there, we can just type it in our calculator. So you're going to type in a parenthesis, negative 5, close your parenthesis, and then we're going to say plus 12. Seven. What's seven though? Well, no, but what is seven? Why? Good. Okay. And again, remember, like, doodle him or something so you know. Okay. That way you don't lose track of it. And then what's the coordinate? Negative five, seven. Gently, that way you have a little bit of extra room. Okay, don't go crazy with it. Just don't erase it. You can start on the other one, don't erase it though. I'll look at it in just a minute, Kim. Okay, look at number five. We're going to say equation one, equation two. Which one says y equals? Which equation says y equals? Negative 
times two. two. So that's the one we're going to circle. And we're going to put it up in the Y up there. Okay, so we're going to write down our top equation. We're going to say 5X plus 4. Instead of Y, what's Y's new name? 1. Equals negative 11. Okay, and then we got to do the parentheses, so we got to distribute. So what is 4 times 1? 4. So we're going to get 5X plus 4 equals negative 11. What can we combine? Nothing. So on the ones where it's like not a bunch of stuff for the Y, um, you, you don't even have to combine, okay? So uh, who's the third wheel? Who needs moved? The 4. So we're going to say minus 4, minus 4. Okay, so we're going to get 5x equals, what is negative 11 minus 4? Negative 11 minus 4. Negative 15. And then what needs done? Divide. So we're going to divide by 5 on both sides. Negative 15 divided by 5. Negative 3. Okay, and again, doodle this guy or something. Okay, that's our first one. What do we do with that? We're going to plug it into where? Okay, we're going to plug it into Y. Okay, which is up here. Where do we plug that in at? Look at it. No, it's already solved. It's already solved, right? So this is one of the easier ones, okay? The Y's already done. What's the Y's name? One. What's the X's name? Negative three. Okay, so that one, there, there's nothing to plug it into, okay? Okay, flip your page. Again, you guys are going to cross off 9 and 10. Just to give yourself a little room. Okay, look at number 7. We're going to say equation 1, equation 2. Which one am I going to circle? Equation 1, okay, because it says y equals. And we're going to draw it to the other one. Where's the y at? Okay, and then we can write down equation 2. I got 5x plus 2. Instead of y, what am I going to be writing? What's my y's new name? 4x plus 13. CJ, I know you know how to do it. Okay, and then what needs done? What needs done after that? Before that? Distribute. Okay, so we're going to have 5x. What is 2 times 4? 8, 2 times 13, 26, equals 0. Is he lying? Then what needs done? Then what needs done? Combine. 
So what is 5 plus 8? Huh? 13? We're going to 13x plus 26 equals 0. Who's the third wheel? The 26. How do I move a plus 26? Minus 26 from both sides. What is zero minus 26? Negative 26. No, what needs to happen? Divide, divide. divide by 13. So we get x equals negative two. And again, squiggly that guy or something. Okay, and then what do we do with that guy? Plug him in. Okay, so he's gonna go up here where we have circles. Okay, so we got y equals 4x plus 13. But now I know, what's my x's name? Negative 2. So where the x is that we're going to erase, or you can scribble over it or something and put a negative 2 there. Plus 13. Five. five. Somebody agree with that? I don't know what it is. Yeah. Yeah, is this five? Okay, and again, squiggly that guy. And then how do we write the coordinate? Which one comes first? Two, the negative two, comma, five. five. Okay, you guys are going to do number two, number six, circle them so you know, number two, number six, and number 11. Do cross out eight as well. Yeah, so everything else is going to be crossed out. Number two, number six, number 11. Can we move that other question? No. Huh? Hold on. Oh, yeah.